the WGHT Morning Show. Good morning. GHT 1500. Red Alert Jimmy House. 835 Thursday morning on WGHT North Jersey's radio station. There you go, the theme. The Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning coming to New Jersey and joining us to tell us all about it. Someone who joins us every year, the executive producer of the Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning, the CEO, and holds the prestigious title of Doctor of Hot Air, which means he is the only person in the United States who has taken charge for hot balloon festivals and music festivals, over 42 of them across the nation. Howard Freeman, he joins us this morning on WGHT. Thanks for taking the time out of your very busy schedule to join us this morning. Thanks for that introduction, Greta, and I love that music. Uh, it's, that's what we play before every ascension, so you're getting me ready for next week. That's right. Isn't this amazing? How many years now? You know, to tell you the truth, Howard, every year that we interview you, I say, do you want a job in radio because... You're the best interview we have. We interview a lot of people. You just, you, if you practically interview yourself and people listening right now are in for a treat because watch this guy and listen and learn and learn and listen. Tell us. Ladder will get you everywhere, but everybody tells me I have a good face for radio and a good voice for newspaper, and I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> well, what's the history of the Balloon Fest? The Balloon Festival actually started 32 years ago. Uh, there was a gentleman named Bill Lewis who was a hobby balloonist. Uh, he got together with a young gentleman named Malcolm Forbes, perhaps you've heard of him, and a guy named Tom Curley who was the publisher of the Courier News and then went on to publish a small paper called USA Today. But uh, they started, there were 10 balloons out at a truck stop on Route 78 in Bloomsbury. It was a Union 76 truck stop and they renamed it Balloonsbury for the weekend. There were about 100 people there, although about 5,000 of those 100 people have told me they were there, um, which is pretty amusing. But the, the festival grew and, and moved to Solberg Airport, and then about 10 years in, or 22 years ago, my team acquired it, and we've grown it to, uh, at that point, at, uh, you know, 22 years ago, there were about 25 balloons, maybe about 25,000 people. And now, after our partnership with Quick Check and their 136 stores, we've grown it to where there's about, uh, we're expecting about 150,000 plus of our best balloonatic friends and over 100 balloons from around the country and the world of all different sizes and shapes. So, you know, when pilots say, if you inflate it, they will come, there's some truth to that. And, you know, don't let the numbers of 165,000 people scare you at this huge event because it is so organized you will enjoy yourself from the minute that you pull into the parking lot until you leave the festival, you will be smiling. There is no aggravation. This thing runs like a well-oiled machine. I can't say that enough. I say it every single year because so many people come and that's what keeps them returning. From the volunteers that you have, those kids that are always smiling and pleasant, ready to guide you to whatever you're looking for, it's just an amazing crew that you have working for those three days. And that's what keeps the people coming back even for more, including your vendors, your crafters, your entertainers for the day. So what's different and what's new this year that we should look for? Um, that's a very good question. I appreciate those, those kind words. Obviously, it's a balloon festival, so the first thing that people ask me is, is what new balloons, especially special shapes, which are kind of the superstars of the, of the balloon world. And, you know, the most downloaded app, free app of all time, people tell me, is Angry Birds. So when we did a balloon festival in Inner Mongolia in China a few years ago, believe it or not, I met a pilot who was building an Angry Birds balloon. It's an exact replica of, you know, the, the app that you see or play with and chase those pigs. So we have an Angry Bird balloon. We have Jewel the Hummingbird, which is just a spectacular multicolored balloon, which people can see if they go on balloonfestival.com, our website. You know, a few years ago, we had a butterfly in the same factory in Brazil that made the butterfly, which was just spectacular colors, has made Jewel the, the Hummingbird. And thank God they do better with balloons than they did with their soccer team. Um, we have um, Super FMG. We have a 
a sister, brother-sister relationship with a balloon festival up in Gatineau in Canada, and their signature balloon is the Super FMG, which is this wild flying Superman-type character with these wild eyes. We have Buzzy, which is an interesting, something you have to see to believe. Uh, Three Wise Monkeys, the unique photo panda. And then, you know, we're bringing back the Quick Check Flight House, which is honoring the rebuilding efforts after Hurricane Sandy, bringing back the PNC American flag, which is obviously honoring America. We have the Pepsi football. Um, and then, um, you know, we years ago, I was at a festival of ours in Ohio, and we had a high dive act. And um, it's, it's somewhere between four and six uh, French-Canadian men and women who are Olympic divers, were Olympic divers, and they do a, a really fun and interesting high dive act. And the signature and unique part of that, because anybody can high dive, one would think, is that the last dive of the day, which will be right after the evening ascension around 7.30, is this gentleman, Yves Malord, gets on an 80 to 90 foot platform, sets himself on fire, and dives into about an eight foot pool. No and he's way. going to do that three times, three times during the weekend, and that's why we pay him at the end of the weekend, just in case. That's <laughs> insanity! <laughs> Um, hey, I don't do it, he does it, but you know, last year we had a human cannonball, and everybody said, how are you going to top that? And you know, on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, we have a 5K race, which we call Advil Running with the Balloons. We did our research, no balloon ever gored a runner, unlike in Pamplona. <laughs> so last year when we shot the blonde out of a cannon to start the race, because you know, who wants to start a 5K race with a, with a starting pistol? That's kind of boring. So this year, we're going to start it with a splash. We're going to set all the ease on fire, have him dive into the pool as soon as he hits the pool and, and um, douses himself or, or undouses himself or whatever, puts himself out, I guess is the word. Then everybody can start running. So if, if he burns up, I guess you got to wait a little bit extra. That's the Flying no, Fools. The Flying Fools, is that what you call the it? The Flying Fools, and appropriately named, because who else is going to set himself on fire and dive from 80 feet into, like, a glass of water? Bugs but, Bunny. Hey, <laughs> He's French-Canadian. What does he know? Just kidding. Um, we have a great experiential display called the New Jersey Hall of Fame. It's an opportunity to go on an air-conditioned um, semi-tractor trailer, 18-wheeler, and go in there and see, uh, you know, the history of music with people like Bruce and, and uh, Bon Jovi and Thomas Edison and Vince Lombardi, and who is more than just a rest stop on the turnpike. Uh, maybe Greta and Jim, you guys are going to be in that Hall of Fame someday. We'll never know. <laughs> the Vince Lombardi <laughs> rest stop. Oh, man, you've been around. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's maybe a the Porta John in that Hall of Fame. I'm that not sure. Is... But, no, it's, it's really a very cool thing. You know, people rip on New Jersey, but it's amazing how much history and, and background and, and people that have come from New Jersey that are in that Hall of Fame now. Uh, and then for kids, we have a PlayStation Road to Greatness tour. People can test out the new PS4 and the, the Vita games that they have. There's about 12 stations, so kids can play that. And then, as usual, you know, one of our slogans is more than just hot air. So we have concerts, as you guys have known in the past. And, then, and with our concerts, we're always looking for music that people grew up with and can say, wow, they did that, they did that. I remember when I first heard this song, I was at the beach, or I met my first girlfriend, or... I was listening to GHT or whatever the deal is. Um, and so Friday night we have America in concert. Uh, horse with no the name GHT. America? The uh, big... Horse with no name. Jim, you know what, Jim, you can take Ventura Highway. On a... Get on your horse with no name. Get on, you know, drive on Ventura Highway and go meet Sister Golden Hair. So, Golden Rod, what am I saying? So, no, um, golden Hair's good. Golden Hair's good. Golden Hair, well, who knows? Uh, no, but they have, <laughs> they have I Need Rod. You. I mean, every song they have, you're like, wow, <laughs> they did this. So, America's very cool. That's and Friday. Friday night, Friday's always, America? Hold it, wait, Friday night's America? Friday night is America. It's the same theme as we've had for years, which is balloons, tunes, and, and, and booms. So, at 6.30 is 100 balloons inflating and ascending in mass, which is an incredible sight when you're there. America is at 8, presented by PNC, and then we have a fireworks spectacular. And I don't know about you guys, but because of the weather this year on July 4th, I missed my Wayne fireworks, yeah, although I did see some of the pumpkin. Um, so if for anybody who, you know, because of uh, that hurricane, missed fireworks, 
Come on out and see balloons, see America, see the fireworks on Saturday, on Friday night. On Saturday afternoon, we have Hot Chell Ray. Mm. You know, for those of you that remember uh, Tonight Tonight was their big hit in 2011. And now they have a huge song called Don't Say Goodnight, which very few women say to me. Don't say goodnight. Um, and then on, uh, you know, on Saturday down. night, we are very fortunate to have one of the most contemporary bands we've had called Three Doors Down. You know, they're big for a song called Here Without You, which mm-hmm. has 120 something million, 120 something million YouTube views. Mm-hmm. And Kryptonite, which is a huge song of theirs. So Three Doors Down is, is going to be amazing on Saturday night. And as usual on Saturday night, we have a balloon glow where we line up all the balloons around the stage from Angry Birds to Jewel the Hummingbird, which, oh my God, it's going to glow unbelievably with those colors. Um, and as Three Doors Down is playing, and it, it, uh, I think about 8.20 or so is when uh, sundown is, they will start to glow, and that makes for the signature event of any balloon festival. And then, as I said, on Sunday, Sunday morning at 6.30, you have, you know, the balloons go up at 6.30 in the morning and 6.30 at night, so we have the Advil running with the balloons with this crazy guy, he's my lord, diving into this uh, small pool to start the race. And uh, there's, there's yoga there's jazzercise for those people who are into health and wellness. Um, and then at 3 o'clock, we have Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. We have never had, which is wow. presented by New Jersey Lottery, but we've never had a female performer because Greta keeps turning me down to come out there and <laughs> sing. So we figured it would be very special for our first female performer to have uh, someone legendary, someone who sang during the Hall of Fame induction this year. Um, Joan Jett, that's fabulous. And the Black Arts. Don't leave out the Black Arts. But no, Joan Jett is, is legendary, and uh, she loves rock and roll, as she says. So she loves rock and it roll. It should be an interesting weekend out there. Uh, she don't, July she don't care about her bad reputation either. She don't give a, about a bad reputation. She is. How did you land Joan Jett? That is a big time act. Big time um, act. We, we made her an offer she couldn't refuse, and with her bad reputation, she took it. But, no, I, I've, I've really looked at a number of women. I've looked at a number of women. That doesn't sound right, but that's a, that's my girlfriend might not like that. But um, that's Howard. we've looked at a number of female performers over the years, and, and uh, it comes down to routing, you know, who's on the road. And just an opportunity came up with their agency, and we had the opportunity to pay a bunch of money, to be honest. And bring She's in worthy. Joan Jett, and if ticket sales are an indication, that Sunday afternoon is, is going to be quite the rock and roll party. So uh, we're pretty excited about Miss Jett. Miss Jett, that sounds pretty funny. Ms. Jett, I guess. Yeah, and I was, well, I'm, I've been a Jett season ticket holder for years, so now I can tie the two together. You're a diehard fan, then. You've been dying hard. I, I have been dying hard for years. Mets, Jets, and Nets, it's not easy. That's why I went into ballooning. It's on the rise. Now, I do notice on Friday and Saturdays, you guys are open until 10 o'clock uh, in the evening. We are. And then uh, on Sunday, the shutdown is at 8 p.m. But the question that everyone asks us, who, 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 who wins tickets here in WGHT, is why the unusual times for the balloon liftoffs? Because that's pretty early in the morning, you know? Yeah, 6.30 in the morning is a little rough, I'll admit that. And and you know what? Before I got into this business, I asked the very same question. But what it comes down to is safety. The winds are the calmest an hour after sunrise and an hour before sunset. You know, if if you're a sailor, the best time to sail, whether it's in your neighborhood on Pompton Lake or Pines Lake or Franklin Lake, you know, is in the middle of the day when it's the windiest. But an hour after sunrise at 6.30 in the morning and 6.30 at night is when the winds are the calmest. The sun hasn't heated up the um, atmosphere or you know, the ground enough to create that turbulence. So um, that's when the winds are the calmest. And, and while those morning ascensions are, you know, the airport's probably 45 minutes down 287 and out Route 78 from, from your listening audience. So it's a commitment to get up at that hour. But it is well, well worth it because the morning launches are spectacular. You know, it, it's not that hot out yet. It's not as, as crowded as it, frankly, gets a little bit later. And it's it's almost a, a, a magical, mystical experience as you're watching the sun come up over the Cushitunk Mountains. Um, these balloons come out of their uh, vans and their rigs, and all of a sudden they become, you know, 60, 70, 80, 120-foot 
high creatures. And uh, when you see the looks on, on kids' faces, adults' faces, my face, you know, watching these, you know, hey, if it be the reason to do it, or if you uh, sleep too much, then come at the 6.30 uh, Friday, Saturday night uh, and Sunday night ascensions. But it is really a magical thing that you need to see in person to, to believe and to understand. If you really, I've done the morning one. It is just time stands still. It is well worth it to get up early in the morning, grab your coffee, and just watch the sunrise with these balloons. It is. It is magical. It's awe-inspiring. You will never forget that feeling when you are there, when the sun rises, and you're there with all these other people just waiting for those balloons to go. We've done Friday. We've done now. I need to do the balloon glow. That's the one I need to do this year. And how does that run? The balloon glow is, is kind of like Christmas in July or Japanese lanterns, people have described it as. Mm. You know, as I said, uh, Three Doors Down will be playing Kryptonite here without you and, and the rest of their songs. But we line up uh, about 25 or 35 balloons around the stage in a semicircle and then up a road toward our Volkswagen Blue Sky Club. And um, there's commands, and, you know, on the count of three, they'll all glow, or they'll do a twinkle glow one by one, or depending on what the balloon meister calls for, and it's really a very cool sight to the point where I go to concerts now, whether it's at PNC or Bergen Pack or, or wherever, and I'm watching, even if it's a great concert, I'll be like, where are the balloons? You know, the, just listening to music isn't enough anymore because you get so used to seeing that spectacular sight. You know, years ago, we had Charlie Daniels on the main stage. Yeah. And uh, we had the, the lover bees, Lily and Joey, these twin 120-foot mm -hmm. uh, bees. And he was so taken by him, he stopped in the middle of his set, <laughs> and he did a, 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 duel, a, a dueling uh, flight of the bumblebees with his uh, guitarist, with his bass guitarist. Then he saw the American flag, the PNC Salutes America flag, starting to glow, and it's obviously red, white, and blue. And he stopped again. He played God Bless America, and everybody got up and and started singing along. So I have no idea what Three Doors Down is going to do when they see uh, Jewel the Hummingbird and Angry Birds. Maybe they'll take out their iPhone and start playing games. I don't know. But um, it is a very cool part of the, of the weekend. There's no question about it. Greta, and you got to get out there. We'll be there. They We're very lucky. Coffee. Obviously, obviously, you're going to pick up your coffee at Quick Check, right? Of course. They're building one a block away from yeah, where we are now. Us. They're yeah. putting a new I, one up. I pass that twice a day. It looks like they're digging the Grand Canyon there. You pass there. But you don't stop be... by. You don't visit us and say hi. You come in here anytime. We're with Howard Freeman um, right now. Very lucky to be with him from the Quick Check. Uh, we're talking about the Balloon Festival, and I'd like to know exactly what our ticket options are here for our listeners. Now, I know it's Friday, July 26th, Saturday 25th. the 27th. 25th. Oh, right. A week from tomorrow. A week uh, from tomorrow. So, do you still have the VIP, VIP Blue Sky Club? We do have the Blue Sky Club, the Volkswagen VIP Blue Sky Club, which, um, you know, when you have the amount of people we have out there, and obviously... You know, it's a country airport. It's a 740-acre country airport. We use about 250, 300 acres of that. And mm. There's portage johns and different facilities like that throughout the airport. But for people who want a little upgraded experience, there's VIP parking right on site. There is the Blue Sky Club, which is immediately adjacent to the flight line. You can almost touch the balloons. Right. Women tell me the best part about that experience, and Greta, you'll probably agree, is that there's executive restrooms, yes. which means it's air conditioned. There's mm -hmm. vanities, um, and it's you know like a regular bathroom, and uh, you know it's not like a portage on out in the field. So that's probably worth it. And then with that, you get a ticket to the to each of those concerts, America on Friday night. Hot Chill Rain in the afternoon on Saturday, Three Doors Down Saturday night, or Joan Jett and the Black Hearts on Sunday, um, probably within the 25, the first 25 rows. So that's a VIP experience. Um, you can go online at balloonfestival.com or call our lovely ladies in our trailer at 1-800-HOT-AIR-9, and they can tell you exactly what seats are available. There's still good seats left for every one of those concerts, um, along with the VIP parking that there's um you have a tram uh, too menu i'm the, sorry the tram that takes you from the parking lot there is a golf to, cart yeah. if people uh, like that's that right. i mean it's not that far it's a couple it's hundred yards but it is up a little hill so there is a uh, 
a golf cart that will transport people, a, a big golf cart. Um, that will transport people back and forth to either the concert venue or the rest of the festival grounds, which are really not that bad. That's in a economic yeah. times. That gives you the opportunity to, to sit on the hill, as we call it, on the grass and watch the concerts, watch the balloons, watch this maniac do his high dive, experience the Hall of Fame and all the things we've been talking about. That's $20 if you purchase by next Thursday a week. Well, a week from tonight. That's pretty quick. At, at midnight, you can go into any quick check store. There's that new one right next to William Patterson on Hamburg. Mm -hmm. There's one on Jackson Avenue uh, in Pompton right down the road from your um, station. As you said, next year there'll be one at Dawes in Hamburg uh, where they're digging right now to put in their gas tanks. It's going to be a beautiful 12-bay gas station. Or So you can go into any quick check store throughout the state. You can go on balloonfestival.com or you can call 1-800-HOT-AIR-9 where operators... I don't want to sound cliche, but literally operators are standing by to, you know, take orders now and, and tell you what concert tickets are left. And um, there's more than just hot air next weekend at the Quick Check New Jersey Festival. That's right. It's like being in downtown Disneyland with all the vendors, too, right along the, the runways. Uh, all the vendors. Oh, my God, the, the vendors. Yeah, you know, I, uh... Every year I, I look to see which vendors are new, and I wind up spending half my paycheck, you know, with uh, the arts and crafters or the the different um, home repair and it's, it's like a ballooning Epcot when yeah, you walk great. around and our research shows that the average stay is seven and a half hours at the festival because there's just so much to see and do and buy you know there's five PNC ATMs out there in case people forget you know that's why it's uh, worth it's getting the plat the platinum three day package that's a great deal too with the concert tickets is it still too late to arrange for a balloon ride or if they call that number or go to the website are balloon rides still available balloon rides uh, thank you jim for lobbing that one up balloon rides are available and you know i, I can't tell you how many people come to me and say how oh, you know a balloon ride's been on my bucket list for years and, you know, you can take a balloon ride, frankly, any time out in Huntington County, and it's extremely cool. You go up, you go around. But at the Balloon Festival, you know, you're part of, of a happening. You know, it's a balloon Woodstock. So when you take a balloon ride, let's say you're in the middle, so there's 50 balloons in front of you, 50 behind you. There's actually a competition going on, so you're seeing all these different sizes and shape balloons. You're flying over the festival, so you can see the pool. You can see all these different things that we have going on. And then you're out in the Huntington countryside where, you know, there's horse farms. There's actually a bison ranch, which is one of my favorite things to fly over. You know, they all look like buffalo head nickels, but they're real. Um, you know, you see the estates out there, the Forb estates. So, yeah, people say that, that a hot air balloon ride is the most fun you can have standing up. It is 225 bucks in the morning, 250 at night. But, you know, if you're ever going to do it, especially it. in the morning, uh, the balloon festival is the place to do it. And, yes, we do have Saturday night is, is selling out fast. The rest of the five ascensions, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, are still available. They usually do sell out by the time it rolls around. So you got less than eight days to reserve that. And, you know, being up in a balloon is... It's, it's like being in a 16, 20-story apartment building on your deck, looking out below and, and seeing the ground move beneath you. So you're comfortable. You're talking to an interesting character because balloon pilots are certainly interesting characters. Mm. And uh, one of them, Nancy Beck's in Wanaku, right near your listening area, right. actually. We have 10 female pilots. We have pilots from Canada, pilots from Britain, pilots from Brazil. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an amazing experience just being involved and helping them inflate the balloon, help them pack it up at the end. You know, you land somewhere in the countryside, you get permission from a farm, from a landowner to land in his backyard. This year, courtesy of New Jersey Lottery, we'll be giving scratch off, uh, win, instant win, uh, lottery tickets to landowners in addition to a bottle of champagne for permission to land in their yard. And when the balloon lands, you know, the, the, the person in the basket along with the pilot is a superstar. The whole neighborhood and all the kids come out, gather around, um, help pack it up, and then you come back to the site and enjoy the concert. Howard, the, the website is www.balloonfestival.com. If it sounds like a big deal, it is a big deal. The phone number is 800-HOT-AIR-9. 
It's a yearly thing. You visit the website. Any question you could possibly want answered is right there on the website. Go to any quick check store. Get your tickets. This is something that comes to New Jersey every year. It's been a tradition. You've always been with us, and we really appreciate it. It's one of the great highlights of a lot of people every summer. And, Howard, one of our highlights is having you on the show every year. It gives me and Greta a 20-minute break because we just sit here and you just let it rip. You let it rip. <laughs> um, hey, I'm, I'm trying to come out of my shell, and one of these days I'll be able to, hopefully. All right, Howard. Thank you so much. Guys, we'll, thank you. We will see, see you down there. there. Greta, yes, look well. me up if you're down there for the glow. We're definitely going to look you up. You know my name. Look up my there. number. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, don't lose that number. It's the only one you own. Hal, we'll see you soon, okay, buddy? Have a great day. Thank you, guys. Balloonfestival.com. Howard Freeman, have a great day. WGHT Radio. From Wayne to Pompton Lakes to Patterson, the award-winning news center. 68 degrees. News this morning on Route 17 South.